career doesn't end after your first degree, that you graduated the third class or HND certificate does not mean you cannot do your master's in the UK. I bring you good news if you are in this category. Third class order and HND certificate orders. There are some misconceptions that you need to do a top-up program or a pre-degree before you get an admission into any university in the UK. Well, for some schools, that's their requirement. There are other universities in the UK that allow you to do your master's program without a top-up program and all other stuff. I'm going to be sharing all the details about this university in this video and also some other tips that you need to know before applying to these schools. If this is your kind of video or you have a friend or family that has third class or HND certificate, please tell them to watch this video, share my link, subscribe to my channel and like my video. Thank you. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today from the title we'll be talking about the universities that accept third class certificate orders and HND certificate orders. Number one university on my list is University of Birmingham. University of Birmingham accepts third class certificate orders just for business related courses. So if you want to do international business, you want to do business administration, marketing and all of those business related courses, try University of Birmingham. In the course of this video, I'll be sharing tips on how to get this admission. Please note that these are just my advice. Make your findings, make your own research. The second university that accepts third class certificate order is Sheffield Alam University. Sheffield Alam University accepts third class certificate order. And one of their major requirements is for you to have five years working experience in related field. Now, if you want to study banking and finance or you want to study media and communications, you have to have five years experience in that field before you can apply to Shelf with Alam for master's program. Also, you want to check Shelf with Alam because I feel like after my research about these universities, a lot of them do accept third class and HND certificate orders for mostly business related courses. So, be sure that they have the course you want to study and then they accept third class certificates for that particular course you want to study. University of Bradford is happy to receive your third class certificate or HND certificate for master's program. Generally, for all schools, you need to have an outstanding personal statement. Make people interested in you by just reading your personal statement. Because what is going to distinguish you from candidates A and candidates B? It's your personal statement. I mean, you want an admission and you are competing with a first class order or second class order. Your personal statement should be the judge. Like, let, me, let them read and just say, oh, maybe something happened during your undergraduate year. That's why you didn't make the first class or a second class. So right now, if you're planning to come to the UK and you have your third class or HND certificate with you, keep it and focus on your personal statement right now. Write a juicy personal statement. That is what is going to back your admission up. That is what's going to back your application up, rather. Also, Bradford offers scholarship, which is called Global Development Fund for students with financial hardship. So you might be lucky to get that scholarship. University of Ramson accepts third class and HND certificate orders. See. Like I said, you have to be able to write a convincing personal statement to get admissions in most of these schools. Next is University of Sunderland. University of Sunderland has it on the website that they accept third class and HND certificate orders. However, internal gist has it that they accept students on a case by case basis. So student A might not get the admission while student B might get the admission. What is the difference between these two students? Is their personal statement? Is their CV? So like I said earlier, make your personal statement convincing enough. The next is London Metropolitan University. London Met University accepts third class and HND certificate orders based on some requirements. One of the requirements is to have three years work experience after NYSE or two years work experience after NYSE and other professional qualification. Let's take, for example, an accounting student in Nigeria. After NYSE, you work for two years and also you have your ICANN or maybe any of these 
professional courses, you have the certificates for it. You can apply to London Med University and get the admission, even though you have a third class or you finished in, in a polytechnic. Also, for other courses, you need to have three years work experience after NYSC to get the admission in London Met University. Also, Solent University. Solent University only accepts HND certificate holders, as stated on their website. So, you want to apply to Solent University if you have HND certificate. Also, Cardiff Met University accepts third class degree holders with relevant experience. You need to apply with relevant experience. It is stated there. If you have not worked before or you are just coming fresh from the university with a third class, please, Cardiff Met is not for you. Make sure that you have work experience before you apply to Cardiff Met University for your master's degree program. Another university that accepts third class certificate order is Ulster University. Ulster University is in London and in Birmingham. Ulster University accepts third class certificates for some business related courses like business analysis, data analysis, um, and I think international business. You want to check their website, but they accept third class orders for business related courses majorly. Just like Ramsey University, University of Bedfordshire accepts students on a case by case basis. So you want to have a compelling CV and statement of purpose for them to be able to consider you for the admission. Coventry University accepts third class and HND certificate orders on the condition that you must have five years working experience in the field you're trying to get admission into. That is, if you're applying to study international business, you should have five years working experience in business related courses. Also, you need to have good references. So if you've worked in the company for five years, please make sure that you have two good references from that company that can back up your application for you. This is just a general knowledge. Have a good CV, have a compelling personal statement and the grace of God, because we cannot do anything without the grace of God. University of Surrey is open to receive third class certificate orders and HND orders as far as you meet their requirements. Guys, there are over 40 universities that accept third class certificate orders and HND certificate orders. I'm going to drop their names in the comment section or in my description box. You want to check these schools and go to their website, check their requirement, and I'm sure you will get the admission once you meet their requirements. I'm going to be sharing tips and some things you need to know when you're applying for master's program in the UK, third class degree order and HND certificate order. One of the things is for you to consider many institutions, broaden your search, guys. Do not stay limited to two schools and you're tired, three schools and you're tired. Apply to multiple schools. The more flexible you are, the higher your chances of getting an admission. Number two, if you are determined to do your master's program in the UK, while waiting, please get work experience. Take internship, take apprenticeship, get real life experience. Make sure that when you are applying, your CV tells it all that your result is not the reflection of your ability. Get real life work experience. It really matters and it will help you. Tip three is for you to take time with your application. Package yourself. Sell yourself. Like, make sure that if you need to pay to optimize your CV, if you need to pay to optimize your personal statement or you need a review or something, Pay people, they are professionals that are into these things. Make sure that your application is good enough. You are competing with the first class degree holder. You are competing with the second class degree holder. You want to be able to convince the admission team that you actually deserve to study in that school. You actually need to get that admission. Sell yourself, package yourself. Another tip is for you to try other courses. Oh, if it's not international business, I'm not doing anything. I can't do marketing, I can't do this one, I can't do that one. Make sure that you have different choices. Make sure that you are open to taking different courses. If you keep trying all these things and it fails or it doesn't work through, I would suggest you take pre-master's course. Pre-master's course take about 10 to 12 months and after the successful completion of your pre-master's program, you can go directly for your master's program in the UK. Guys, if you know you want to actually do your master's program, do not relent. Do not get tired of applying to schools and trying other options. Also, do have a backup plan. 
if admission doesn't work and you want to come to the UK, try job route. Apply to jobs in the UK. There is a shortage occupation list which I will leave in the description box. You can check that list and see where people are required in the UK for work. Apply to those places. If it is your plan or your wish to come into the UK, I pray that God will help you and is going to come through for you. Please do not relent. If school route doesn't work, job route will definitely work. I wish you guys the very best. And if you've enjoyed this video till this time, Please like the video, share with your friends and family, and also do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you are yet to. I'll see you guys in my next one.